<laughs> it was zombie killers. Zombie killer right here. So I did a live stream, right? And uh, it was about this dude trying to do the Tachanka glitch. Which, the glitch, you rapidly spam it. You put the Tachanka turret down. Say you're Doc, and you know how he's like slow, he's at one speed. You can just rapidly put the glitch, like rapidly use, and stop using the turret. Like, you just keep spamming, and then you then you run really fast you become a three speed so this guy tried to do it and I wouldn't let him then uh... the next game I was uh... Tachanka I kept being Tachanka and I wouldn't let him do it so then he team killed me he got salty and now I'm contacting Ubisoft they say they, they even have all these things that you can put their username you can send a video link I'm uploading I'm gonna upload a video privately though um... on him Team killing me, and I'm gonna send it. You know what? I'm not gonna put it privately. Screw it. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna send them the link, and hopefully get him banned. Get him banned because, dude, you can't just rely on glitches and Rainbow Six Siege. Like, come on, man. Like one time, this dude was blitz. So like I was saying, he. You guys know that glitch that you used, could used to do. You put the recharge on the wall, and then you rapple up a bit, and then go back down. And then, like, your gun is invisible. You have, it proves your accuracy. They they patched it. But one time, this Woods did it. And I team killed him. I shot him in the head. He got salty, too. It was, this was ranked. And I'm like, why are you doing glitches, bro? He's like, because it's better. I'm like, really? You can't just rely on glitches. Especially if you're, if you're doing with a blitz. Especially a shield operator. You know? So, yeah, guys. And uh, that's a good thing they're taking <laughs> hacking to the next level. I know some of you may say I'm making a big deal about this, but dude, come on. First of all, I wasn't going to ban report him at all or anything when uh, he uh, when he was trying to do a glitch. If someone tries to do a glitch, I team killed him, but then he team killed me. So, yeah, guess what he deserves, man. You want to be like that? All right. No worries. You can always team kill. Oh, no. You can always team kill the glitchers. Like, dude, really? You're gonna make the game unfair for everyone else. So, you guys know how I did the Gamo glitch in Black, uh, I know, in uh, GTA, right? I don't kill people. All I do is help out low ranks. Or anyone who's getting messed by a, <coughs> messed, whatever, messed by a modder. Because one time there was a modder, he was killing people. I'm like, dude, leave him alone, because he was squeaker. And the modder was like, nah, bro, I'm good. And then uh, I came there with the armor Karuma, right? And then, but, uh, okay, ner so, well, I actually didn't come with an armor crew mode. I went there with my Savage, right? And I started shooting at the modder. I didn't know he was a modder. And then he, he couldn't die, right? And he just kept killing me. I'm like, dude, you're in god mode. He was like, yeah, I'm a modder. And, uh, I was like, why are you killing this kid? He was like, because I can. And then, um, I... I activated God mode, and uh, I activated God mode, and then, and then he tried to shoot at me, and he was like, "Oh, you're in God mode." And I let that squeaker in. And he tried to blow up my Kuruma, but I 
but you couldn't because I did it where your vehicle got mowed. But you can't really harm anyone, so all you can do is run over people. But I was running him over. I was just protecting the kid, and then he's like, "Have fun." He just spawned me on a rock and just sent a bunch of airplanes on me. But that didn't really kick me out. It just sent me to a new session. I just went to a new session. I was like, what a dick. And uh, yeah, that's my story, guys. Well, I'm going to go, guys. Later. I will update you on this.